will be out on Monday, but uh, the remainder of the week I will have those for you. If you listen to this show on iHeartRadio from outside Ohio, tell me where that happens. Make sure that you get a pin on our map. Phil is a bureau chief in Monterey, California. Brian listens in Albuquerque. Craig is in Phoenix. And Zach is a new listener in Asheville, North Carolina. Well, it seems Aaron Rodgers has developed a natural immunity to Shailene Woodley's charms. <laughs> and they split up. They were engaged. That that seemed like a that seemed like a pandemic relationship. That's safe to say, right? I mean, they weren't together that long. They were together about two years, I think. Okay. Well, Aaron Rodgers, of course, quarterback for the Green Bay uh, Parkers. It is Parkers, correct? Yep. Uh, and Shailene Woodley, who is a lovely actress of some renown, were engaged. Um, and, uh, you know, it's always in hindsight where people who knew both of these people were like, this is never going to work. They were really, really kind of weird from the from the jump, whatever. You know, you meet somebody and you, who knows? Aaron uh, Rodgers has got a nice long CV of former girlfriends. Olivia Munn is off the market. She's got a kid with John Mulaney. He was with Danica Patrick for a while. I, I can't remember if they were engaged, but they were together for a while. I don't know if he can go back into that pool. I think he'll... I don't think he's going back to anybody. I think he's trying to find something new. And I think it's all going to be contingent on where he ends up playing. Is is that kind of a... Yeah, they're, I mean, he's probably going to get traded. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think so. Just because... He doesn't really want to be there anymore, I don't think, and I'm pretty sure they would take like a huge cap hit if he stays with them because he's owed like forty five or forty million dollars next year. I see. So, well, Packers. who's going to pick up that tab then? The Cleveland uh, Browns. The Cleveland Aaron Browns. Aaron Rodgers yeah. and the Cleveland Browns. There's teams. Uh, I think the Saints are going to make a play for him. Ah, okay. Well, if anybody wants to pay the freight, I'm sure he'll be happy to go. He is part owner of the Milwaukee Bucks. They have dancers, they don't have cheerleaders, but they have Milwaukee Bucks uh, dancers. Maybe somebody right in his own backyard. I mean, granted, they're like, you know, the hottest girls in Racine, I guess, but <laughs> hey, still, nothing wrong with that. There's some good stuff going it's on. It's an NBA team. I went to a, what is that called? Tilted Kilt mm -hmm. near Green Bay mm -hmm. a long time ago. You used to was, have one of those in downtown Cleveland. Yeah. It was, it was the first time I ever went to one, and the girl, the, it was quite talented there. Like that, well, it's college it was, girls. Yeah, it was so yeah. hot. Yeah. So, I mean, you can go to those Midwest towns and see some real hot girls. Sure. Yeah. So, uh... It's like going to a country concert. You're like in the middle of nowhere, and then you go to the, the concert, and you're like, my God. Because they come from far and wide. Yeah. They come from all over. But they're, they're everywhere. Sure. Hot girls are everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, there used to be a tilted kilt downtown Cleveland. It had been a hundred things. I think when I first came to Cleveland, it was a place called Fat Fish Blue uh, that had awful food. And uh, then the tilted kilt came, and they closed a few years ago. And then the whole chain got sold. We uh, did that broadcast we, from there one time. We did a show from the tilted kilt. sounded like robots the whole time. That's right. They couldn't figure out the connection. Uh, but it was fun. Yeah, it was a good time. Uh, but they ended up selling the entire Tilted Kilt chain for $10 because the company that was buying them had to take on a ton of debt. $10? So they said, well, tell you what, we're taking on all your debt, so we're only going to pay you $10 for the chain, and that's what happened. There's only about 34, 35 of them left across the country. So petty. No, you're taking on tens of millions of dollars of another com a company's debt. But why even pay them anything at all? Because you're, you're taking it, it off their yeah. hands. I mean, the, rather than them like paying creditors, they're like, take it off my hands, give me... Now again. But $10 is insulting. I think that was the point. <laughs> we'll give you 10 I think that was the point. You know what's more insulting? Having a business that's millions and millions of dollars in debt. Yes, so but... So you're like, eh. It's adding insult to injury, but... You're happy to just be out of it. It's definitely unusual, to your point, Cody. It's that's definitely that's unusual. Super petty. It's just like, I'm going to push you down, and then I'm going to kick some dirt in your face. All right? Wait, wait till we are running your money, man. We're going to do lots of insulting things to you. Well, and Bill, when Bill and I are your conservators, and we've already been in touch with some people that are making this, uh, I mean, I hate to use the word imminent. That seems ominous, but I mean, it, it's imminent. 
uh, when we are your conservators, again, we want to be benevolent overlords when it comes to your finances, when it comes to where you go, what you do. You know, we're not going to be as, as uh, we're not going to put the screws to you like they did to Britney Spears, who, by the way, is being called to testify to Congress on the subject of conservatorships. So we got to get this going quickly, Bill, because if they change any laws... I know, I know. We My pound are, cake fans won't stand for it. What's that? My pound cake fans won't stand for it. They'll Listen, take the I will talk to all three of those people, no. and I will get them on our side. They'll do have no fear. I have no sit-ins. That would be the most pound cake fan thing ever, is a sit-in. <laughs> yeah. You guys want to sit and watch movies. A lie down yeah. in... That's right. If it's good enough for Pound Cake to do his podcast horizontally, it's good for... What do we want? I don't Pound know. Pound Cake to be able to spend what little money he has how he wants on Uber Eats. When do we want it? Mm. Whenever. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, is that, that's my prerogative. As my money is in my pocket, it's my prerogative. I do what I want to do. Pound rot it, too. No. Sure. No, no, go ahead. No, that's it's, it's yours. Nope. Pound rod. <laughs> really? That was a nice stretch on that one, but I liked it. So Shailene Woodley, Aaron Rodgers are no more. What other job has she had, though? I feel like she she's has been in a lot of movies. A lot of movies. I only remember her from Life, Secret Life of American Teenager. That's the only. No, thing no, no. She was in the. Well, their movie is going to be called The Fault in Our Stars. But oh, um, she was in the. She was in the Fault in Our Stars. Stars. She was okay. in those Divergent movies, those uh, Hunger Games ripoffs. She was the main character in those. Okay. And she was in The Descendants. Remember the George Clooney movie? She was the daughter in that movie. Um. And then that Big Little Lies show, that was yeah, yeah, right. popular. My wife watched that, Big Little Lies. and yeah. But they said that uh, Aaron Rodgers was spending so much time focused on football um, that she felt that he was neglecting their relationship and neither of them were happy. But again, that's, that's the thing, what man. You do if that's you what are... you have to do if you want to be an elite athlete. You think Tom Brady is paying attention to Giselle all the time? No. That's, that's why he's getting lip service from his kid. That's why she wanted him to retire, because she's like, he is so focused on football that I don't ever get to spend time with him. How, how I don't want Bill Belichick making his life miserable. I want to make his <laughs> life miserable. <laughs> Giselle's really going to get back at him. She's going to put on five pounds. Oh, no. And then he's really going to have a problem. <laughs> Honey, something, looks, something looks different about you. Uh, at the parade. He tweeted out to Matt. He's like, Matt, drink some water. Trust me. Meaning what? Because Matt was going pretty hard on the champagne and drinks and stuff like that. Did you see and him? Tom Brady last year was wasted. Oh, was he really? Oh, yes. You like, see Stafford tip his heel into a 180 when that chick falls off the front of the stage? Oh, no. This guy went from hero to zero in the court of public opinion. They had that Rams uh, parade yesterday, and I don't know how many people ended up showing up to it. But if you saw any of the video of the initial, there was nobody in the streets for this Rams parade. Because, again, it's L.A. people are happy when L.A. wins something. It doesn't mean they're, they're way into the Rams. But Matt Stafford was on the front of this stage in this girl who I guess was a photographer or something. It was a girl that was supposed to be Oosh. there. She goes like, she fractured her spine. She jumps, try, jumps or something and falls off the front of the stage. And everybody's dunking on Stafford because he just kind of goes, ew. <laughs> like, he, just, he does a quick a, little one. He's like, yep, ah. Just turns his back and looks at yeah. somebody else and goes, hey, could you pick her up? Mm -hmm. But he had this look like he didn't want to be involved or he didn't want <laughs> yeah. any, he didn't want anyone accusing him of. But still, wouldn't you go, oh, my God, are you all right? Like, what's the matter with that? <laughs> Everybody's Billy <really laughs> Eilish now. Everyone has to help other people. <laughs> Why can't we just be a Travis Scott sometimes? Trust me, if... <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you just don't want to be involved and you just want to let stuff happen. In it's a world universe. of Travis Scott's, be a mm. Billie Eilish. <laughs> and trust me, if everyone was helping everybody, you'd have a point. But there are way more Travis Scott's than Billie Eilish's. <laughs> so why is everyone ha hating on Travis Scott? Is it because he's black? Yeah, that's why they're also hating on Matt Stafford, because he's black. <laughs> well, his <laughs> wife's there trying to help. She's doing... It, well, was that her, that other blonde? Yeah. Was that his wife? Yeah, because she's wearing a jacket that says, it's Matthew, not Matt. He doesn't like, she doesn't like when people call him Oh, Matt Jesus. Stafford. These wives, yeah. they're hot, they're but boy, the did they come yeah. with a ticket. Like, <laughs> I don't, oh, he doesn't like being called Matt? No, I don't like, but well, he doesn't, doesn't have a jacket on. 
I don't even know your name. What do you care what I call him? That's Matthew. Rough, that fall is brutal, though. Yeah, it is. She goes right off the front. Kelly Smiley is the photographer, and she said that she unfortunately <laughs> fractured her spine. That sucks. That she was feeling okay. And then to add a little insult to injury, as she's falling, her hand slaps the stage, and a bunch of confetti comes up. So it looks <laughs> right. like they're celebrating her fall. Yeah, it's like a celebratory <laughs> spinal fracture. <laughs> So they got some GoFundMe going or whatever, but, you know, obviously the video, everybody's like, why did Matt Stafford turn around and walk the <laughs> other way? He just kind of goes, ooh, <laughs> that looks rough. He's like, I don't want to get that close to the edge. I'm trying to run this back next year. Yeah, that's right. I got to protect this. I ain't going to be no Kelsey Grammer. They're at the front of the stage. Oh, good God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Love that clip. Oh, it's the best. Trip through It's a Small World, pretending I was a UN interpreter. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> oh. I, I think I'm... Wow. That's wow. Bad. And that's just embarrassing. There were little mm -hmm. keyholes on the front of this stage, the way the design of the stage was, if you've never seen that Kelsey Grammer. And you know what? I got to tell you, I was thinking about this over the weekend, but it wasn't important enough to tweet or anything because I just want to deal with everybody's nonsense. But I was thinking, what is a celebrity where you completely disagree with them on just about everything, but you still love them? Well, we talk about Pound Cake. You know, he separates the art from the artist, and mm -hmm. I guess that's what it is. Right. I just love Kelsey Grammer. By all accounts, he's an awful human being. <laughs> he's a super mega douche and whatever. But, man, I just love Kelsey Grammer. He's Sideshow Bob, for Christ's sake. And, and Frasier. he's Frasier Crane. And, Frasier's a great and he's show. like, oh, God, just anything... Mm. He's in a lot of crap too, but I just I'm I'm a fan of Kelsey Grammer. I mean, I'll say it loud and proud. I separate the art from the artist. Pound cake does it for pervs. I do it for, you know, if, if the iconic uh, pervs though. Like uh, Michael <laughs> they Jackson. They gotta be iconic, right? They gotta be iconic. I wouldn't yeah. like, like no Josh. So you admit he was a perv. Gotcha. <laughs> Finally, we gotcha. I mean, perverted doesn't mean you did anything. Iconic wrong. pervs are mm. at the foundry this weekend, by the way. Do not miss that show. It's really good. It's a ministry cover band. I'm trying to think of somebody that is like that. I mean, we all have them. We I'm all sure. Have people, I'm sure. Yeah. I just can't think of anybody off the top of my head that I really know that much about their personal life or politics or who they really are compared to what they do. I like Amorosa. I don't know anything about her. I um. I like. I, like, I mean, she, I think she's intelligent. She worked like I don't think she's like a MAGA. Well, uh, definitely not a MAGA woman anymore. But I, I didn't buy the whole MAGA thing to begin with, because um, she used to work in the I think the Clinton White House or the Bush White House. So she worked in the White House before she even got with Trump. Right. I think she's intelligent. Well, she, she was an opportunist. That's not the worst thing you can be. But I, mean, I was yeah. an opportunist. But it, it's not. She may have been given that job, but that doesn't mean she didn't know how to do it or she wasn't qualified for it. Right. Everyone gets their job because she's from Youngstown, and she gives back to her community. Yeah. Like so, she's an Ohio woman. She, she gives back to Youngstown. She gives back. Is a she lot. part of their massive downtown revitalization project? I don't. I, I think the projects where she grew up. I think she gives back to. I'm not quite. Did sure. she give them her name? She licensed, like, the Omarosa Project? I don't know. Mm. But I, I like her. I think she's educated. And besides her politics, um, I, I would like to have a conversation with her. Why don't you have her on the podcast? If I could get in touch with her people, I'm sure she probably has a publicist. Or she's probably... Why don't you hit them up? Well, I just haven't yet. People like her are always pimping something. She'll have a book coming well, out. She's bigger or, you know. than she probably will be bigger than my little podcast. I don't but know don't, about that. You don't know. You don't you know ask. that. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll it's try. like when you got the one dude on your uh, radio show, or yeah. when you you reached out to Elton John, they still responded. They did, they did respond. That was so? crazy. Yeah, I still have that email. There you go. It said subject line: "Don't let your son go down on me." Hmm. I don't think that's the song, but it's from Elton John's people. That's good enough for me. What do they say to you? Um, I asked him, did they, did, could he please come in for an interview? I was like, I know he doesn't need the promotion. Um, and they thanked me for my email. I'm summing it up. Um, they thanked me for my email, but uh, Elton flies directly into the vineyard. I just imagine <laughs> he just has a helicopter and they lure him down. Oh, yeah. He flies he, directly into the vineyard. He's, not, flies directly he's out. not doing meet and greets. No he's bus, not doing anything. Nothing. Nope.
How He's like that? Seinfeld. Takes a plane to the gig, takes a plane. He's sleeping in his own bed by 11 o'clock that night <laughs> in New York City. <laughs> that is a mess. Like, Seinfeld's <laughs> like, oh, I, I got a gig in, uh, in uh, Montana tonight. Gets on the plane, does the gig, flies back home. That's exactly Back what he in says. his own bed. He, he flies That's the life. Directly into the venue and directly out, so there's no time for any promotions or anything like that. And a guy like that, you don't think that they're lying to you either. No, you're I like, absolutely. Well, okay, I, I, listen, I wanted to shoot my shot. But I just think it's funny because even Cher takes a bus. Like, even Cher is on tour and she has a regular tour bus. Now, granted, it's starting, like, the tour bus is, like, <laughs> started as soon as, like, she's on her last song. Like, they're gassing it up and she just probably walks off stage and just gets on it. <laughs> takes like, her wig off. Hey, hey, hey. You know? Yeah. She's yeah. like, fire that up, Elroy. <laughs> you know? Elroy. <laughs> I just imagine that's her. Her bus driver's name, and she you imagine her bus driver's name is Elroy. Yeah, like the boy in the Jetsons. Uh, yeah, sure. Wow, but yeah, so he's big. Elton John is big time in share. Hmm. Well, listen, I don't think there's a person among us who wouldn't do that if we had the means. If you had the means to fly in, do a gig, and leave. You know, because Elton John's like 77. How old is he? He's not some young dude. He's not like, you know, when you're young and it's like get in the van and we're going to DIY it. I don't even think he was doing that back in the day. He was still a young man when he was such production with his shows. He was a young man when he did Dodger Stadium in a sequin Dodger outfit. Yeah. Elton John is, uh, you know, he's not a young man. He's got kids, got a husband. He's 74. He's going to be 75 years old this March next month. He wants to be home. Flossing that gap before before he goes to bed. You're talking about his teeth, right? <laughs> Bill, you never want to <laughs> underestimate oral hygiene. But like, what if he doesn't want to stay in New York City? Like, what if he they, he flies directly into the venue from London and then flies back? Like, well, that's a thing too. Is that's why you have houses all over the place. Yep. So you're like, which house am I closest to? You're closest to the one in Vegas. All right, then fly me to the Las Vegas. Oh, I hate yep. rich people. Fly me to Vegas. Why? <laughs> they're living great lives. They're like, I, I forgot. I ha- oh, I hate yes. them. Let's go to the the London estate. Uh, well, that's nine hours away. Oh, well, what's what's my nearest home? <laughs> well, then it make maybe it'll make you feel better to know that the reason that Elton John still tours is because he's awful with money. Really? He's terrible. Well, what, because he was single for so long, he spent every dollar he made. Now he's got kids, he's got a husband, I and mean, they've been together for a while, obviously, but by his own admission, he was like, I will do anything for money because I always need money. I mean, look at the photos of like his houses and stuff. He's like, I spent so much money on so many expensive things. He just blew through everything. And back in the day, it was Coke and everything else, you know. Can but. he sell his catalog? Does he own his catalog? Well, he's got He it. and Bernie Taupin yeah, would have to split it. They have to split it because he doesn't own all the, like, he, he has the writer. But even if they split it, they'd still—I still, was going to say—they'd yeah. still walk away with a thousand dollars. Eight figures. Yeah. Of, <laughs> eight figures. They, I bet they would both get eight figures a piece for the Elton John catalog. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So well, I mean, if they'll do everything for money, then why not sell it? But why hate rich people? Like you know, I mean, I just hate it because entertainers. It, I'm talking. You hate them because he ain't them. CEOs don't do anything for you, right? They had Exxon Mobil and doing a goddamn thing for you. But like entertainers are giving of themselves and their talents. Their talents. These are wealthy people who have earned. It's a stroke of luck, sure, but it's perseverance, it's hard work, and all that kind of stuff too. But talented people. Well, I say that. I, I, That's what we are all. Aspiring trying, yeah. to be are t- people with a certain quirk of their personality that we've been able to monetize. That's all it is. Yeah. You have a certain quirk about your personality that draws people to you, and you can make a certain amount of money for it. We're Some just people doing win it at hundreds and thousands of dollars versus, <laughs> and I mean a hundred <laughs> to a thousand dollars. Tens, not, not yeah. in the tens of it's millions. millions yeah. Of, yeah. Guys, I'm working on a three-figure deal here that I think is <laughs> so, like is that if this comes <laughs> through for me, it's mm-hmm. good night, nurse. Mm-hmm. Adios, AC. We're talking three, maybe four Uber Eats meals. <laughs> High three figures. That's right. <laughs> You talk about an endorsement? No, a contract. I finally got a contract after all these years for <laughs> three figures. For three figures. <laughs> Nine, $999. Mm-hmm. 99 cents. 
I'm going to take a break. I'll have those Henry Rollins tickets for you. I think he still takes a bus, or he might uh, drive, or who knows. Uh, Henry